Hello everyone, my name is Gabrielle Camerata, and if there's one thing you should know about me, is that I hate being bored. Life is supposed to be exciting, and I need to be active constantly. I mean, sure, let's be real. Would I love to be bored on a yacht, sailing to Spain with no cares in the world? Yes. But for now, I settle for hobbies. I'm not sure if it's just the teenager in me, but I tend to rotate through hobbies rather fast. Whether it's coding, surfing, or Rubik's Cubes, I'm always sure to be kept busy. Recently, I started playing chess. And before you ask, no, I have not seen the Queen's Gambits. <laughs> but I absolutely love the game. I began here at North Broward when I decided to join the chess club. After my first meeting, I had gained some rather essential knowledge. The knight moves in an L shape. Don't bring your queen out too early and castle if you want any shot at survival. This is what I call the boring phase in which you have yet to pick up on the true tactical brilliancies that chess has to offer. Pretty soon though, I found myself making forks, pins, and calculations that would guarantee a beneficial trade for me. What I love about chess is its pure ability to make you think. Chess involves adaptability, unpredictability, and problem solving. Now, when I first started playing chess, I knew that these qualities had to be inside of me somewhere. Where would they come out from? Well, this is the story of how recent experiences I have been through have increased my level of gameplay in the game of chess. Before I can get into that, a little bit more about me. I have two brothers, one older and one younger. My younger brother, Stefan, is 14, and I do hate to admit it, but he is the funniest kid I know. My older brother, Alec, is 18. Alec and I have been best friends since the second I was born. He is sweet, funny, intelligent, and has a great sense of humor despite being nonverbal. Alec has severe autism and epilepsy. He suffered his first grand mal seizure when he was eight months old and received his autism diagnosis at around age three. From that moment on, my parents were fighting a battle they could not and would not lose to. Appointment after appointment, neurologist after neurologist, and only to be left with another medicine that didn't work or possible solution. It was a learning curve for them, but after years of dedication and hard work, Alec was seizure-free from the ages of nine to 16, half of which completely off of medication. But, just as in a chess game, unpredictability can strike at any moment. No matter how many times I recalculate the same sequence, play the same opening, or find myself in similar situations, something can always go wrong. One day in February of 2020, I was sitting in the car with my older brother, Alec, my younger brother, Stefan, and my dad while my mom was inside shopping. Very average night. Little did I know that night would change the way that I functioned and my family functioned from that moment on. In the car, Alec had a seizure, a really bad seizure, the first one I had ever witnessed and the first one in six years. I yell seizure, I jump out of the car, start blowing up my mom's phone, my brother yells my dad's name, help him. If my mom hadn't ran out the second she did, I would have finally put those track skills to use and sprinted right inside the store. I'm not sure how fast I would have been, but at least I would have gotten there, I'm sure. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that night, but it ended with Alec in a hospital bed and confusion bubbling throughout all of our minds. You know what, I can see some of you guys wanna get back to chess, and I, I do too. So, <laughs> so, these qualities that I've experienced throughout that night, not only did they change the way that, that I functioned and my family functioned, but they instilled a certain motivation and passion inside of me. Even though my parents' main hope was that, I would, that, that Stefan and I would not have to witness a seizure while we were young, it's, it's okay because it, it has given us a sense of confidence and motivation. Adaptability, problem solving, and unpredictability. A typical game of chess. Adaptability. Autism was something I had always been surrounded by. It is the single most subject I could and have talked about for hours. Epilepsy, however, was something completely new. 
Therefore, it was something I had to adapt to. I've adapted to this recurrence by looking for warning signs of a seizure, such as gazing or an aura. I ensure he's gotten adequate sleep the night before to make sure his threshold hadn't been lowered. And most importantly, I make sure his emergency medicine is always with us, especially in the car. My brother doesn't have one specific trigger for his epilepsy. In fact, for him, flashing lights and loud noises are something he truly enjoys due to the sensory. Therefore, it's hard for us to prevent a seizure from happening since we don't really know the cause. The unpredictability of his epilepsy have led me to constantly be thinking ahead. Almost as if I was sitting across from esteemed grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura, patiently awaiting one of his inevitable and devastating attacks on my poor king. I would be thinking 100 moves in advance, even though the game would probably not get past three, but I would still at least try. Problem solving. We all blunder. Whether it's in chess or straight up life, we all make mistakes. Remaining calm is crucial in both the disability community and the chess world. For example, if my brother were to, make a, were, were to mess up and make a mistake and cause a mess, such as breaking a glass on the floor, it would be simply incorrect and wrong of me to react to him in a harsh manner. Rather, I would calmly lead him away and clean up the mess myself. Just as if I was playing a game of chess, if I blunder, I choose to move my A pawn while my queen's about to get pinned to my king, I would simply watch my queen get taken from me and clean up whatever mess comes out of the next few moves. Adaptability, unpredictability, and problem solving. A typical game of chess and a typical day in my life. My brother has taught me countless lessons, but most importantly, he's taught me that I can get through anything because I have witnessed him get through everything. No matter how poor the trade or how bad the blunder, I can always find the right move to make the most of my game, and you can always make the right decision to make the most of yours. Thank you.